Hi everybody, it's Diane. I am going to try to make some ephemera with the mess that's here on my table. I spent a lot of time straightening up my room here and uh, one of the things that I rediscovered was a little little drawer that I have labeled to make ephemera with and I just keep adding to it and never taking things out and making ephemera. So. My room is pretty tidy, as, as tidy as it can be without my shelves. Um, and I think I'm going to do a tour pretty soon, um, even before I get the shelves, because they're just going to have to wait until after we get um, unquarantined. So I'm making the best of it. But I decided to just do uh, a few pieces of ephemera today. So I did these. Three. I made this tag and I made it out of this um, notebook divider and I love that it has the copper reinforcement. It's evening here so it's a little shadowed in here. It's, light isn't great but hopefully you'll see these okay. But obviously I cut the tag like that and I stamped it with more mustard. It's the name of the ink pad. I didn't really stamp it with mustard and this kind of a script stamp. And then just fussy cut this flower and added these numbers. I have some numbers that were in this drawer from a die cut. And then I took this vintage magazine image that I had and I just cut a piece of cardstock that I had in the drawer, inked it, um, just stamped some numbers at the top and glued that down. That's a pretty simple card. And I had this, it was already folded into the little uh, Rita Donnelly flip pocket thingy. So I just stamped that and cut a piece of ephemera to fit there and added some more numbers. So this will be all ready to glue, glue in. Uh, these are just going to be uh, a very eclectic bunch of ephemera pieces because I'm just using what's in that, what was in that drawer. So moving on. Um, I've got bases over here, just different things I can use for bases, and over here I have things to decorate those bases. I have a whole pile of these book pages that I just got in my Happy Mail from Deb. So maybe I'll make some tags or something with these. So let's take another one of these. I have several. I don't even know where I got these. I may have picked them up at Salvation Army, but I've got, I can make quite a few tags. All right, so this, the one that I cut, let me show you this one. The first one I cut was on the edge. So let me show you how I got it so that the, the easy way to put that um, thing in the middle. It was easy, I believe me, it was easy, but I can't do it now. Okay, so I put the hole right in the center of my cutter, right there where the blade's gonna go, and it came out to one and a quarter inches. So then I, how did I do that? Oh, so then it was one and a quarter, so then I just moved it out to two and a half and cut and then it ended up being that part in the middle. But the middle one can be bigger and I want it to fit that tree image. So I'm going to trim the margins off of the tree image. just about three inches yeah about three inches so I guess for this one I will let's go back to this one that I've already cut 
put that in the middle or put the zero in the middle and I'll make it three and a half inches so it means I need to go one and a quarter on each no one and three quarters on each side right right centered. I'll cut this. I didn't change my battery when I should have. So if this video gets cut off, it's because I ran out of battery. It isn't going to be a very long video anyway. Actually, I can make it a little smaller because that's a pretty... Well, sometimes I want a big tag, so we'll keep it that way. And I'll just cut it there. It is going on 8 o'clock in the evening, so it's going to be a short video. I think I'd like to do some stamping on the background. I'll just use this same script stamp that I used. And I will use soft suede, see how that looks. I think that's a not too dark color. Thought I had a scrap paper out and all ready, but I don't see it. That's not scrap paper. Here we go. Sorry. So my did my son did a nice thing for me today. He wanted to buy me treat me to dinner. So he asked me where I wanted to order food from. Whoops. I don't know why I'm stamping down in the middle. I need it up at the top. So I told him what I would like, and he ordered food. He was going to have it delivered to me, but for some reason he didn't want it delivered by DoorDash. And that's, that was the service. I asked for Applebee's, and that's the service Applebee's was using. I don't know why he's a little leery about DoorDash. I've never used any of those sorts of things, but... So anyway, he picked it up and delivered it himself. But he didn't stay, he didn't linger. Just brought me the food and smiled at me, and <laughs> off he went. So that was nice that he did that for me. It was delicious. I have the signatures for the fabric covered books, journals done. I just, this evening when I'm done with this video, I'm going to watch something and um, sew the books together. So hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to do a flip through. That flip through might get posted before this video does though. like to get them in the shop before the weekend.
So I guess before I start the next journal project, I will work on finishing the covers, the fabric covers, and then see if anybody wants to buy just a fabric cover that they can make signatures for. And of course I will add fibers to these two tags and they're they're lighter weight than the shipping tags that we buy but I think they're sturdy enough. Okay, what else can I do? I have these pieces that I had just done some sort of alcohol ink and maybe Arteza watercolors here. I've got this whole Oh, I thought it was a paper pad. It's it's um, Beatrix Potter. So I want to make ephemera with those, but I don't think I'll do them tonight. I have these stickers. I think someone sent these to me. Well... The, I have a whole stack of these brown cards. They came with vocabulary cards. I think they were dividers in my vocabulary cards. And I kept them because I thought I could make something with them. And then there were plain cards too. So I have those. And I have some slide mounts that I had colored. I painted them somehow. So maybe I could put these two things together. I think it's just barely wide enough. I'm thinking maybe I can use one of these, but I don't know. That one looks kind of cute. Let's try that. Well, I don't need this, do I? Just glue that on it. Silly. I might glue that on the back of it just to provide some strength behind that thin paper. Oh, I don't want to put glue on that. So that's, that's kind of thin there. So I'm just going to glue this behind it. There. And I might add some kind of a trim to it when I'm ready to use it, but for now I think it's done. Let's see what I have here. These look like these were started. So this is just um, cardstock sewn to coffee dyed paper. Let's see what I've got here that I can stick on that. Got that hand. They're cute, but they're a little bit big. Gee, 
he's too big. Ah, maybe some dictionary images from the children's dictionary. The little golden book. Something that'll go with denim with white stars on it. That is adorable, the cowboy hat. look for a little something to add to this. This is a piece of corrugated cardstock. It was not in the box, but it's in my little box of um, scraps that I try to add to things. So I think I like that. to voicemail. It's my church prayer chain. Oh, good grief. There. That's adorable. It's fun to use up some of this stuff, but I'll never use it all. I think I need to go through it and just do some, put it somewhere else or get rid of some of it because it's way more than I'll ever use in this drawer. But isn't that cute? So we've made one, two, three, plus I made three before we started, so I've got six pieces. I'm working quickly because I want this to be a short video and I also want to accomplish something in it. So this is a uh, scrap that I had stenciled on with some inks. This was a long time ago because I don't remember doing it. And cut it out and cut corners. So I need something to put on that.
Let's try this. And where did my little scissors go? There they are. just roughly um, fussy cutting this. It's going to have the border around it. I'm not cutting it straight down to the image. And it won't all fit on the tag. I'll put it off to the side like that, but it needs something behind it. Maybe this. Let's try it. A piece of corrugated cardboard that I had put gesso on. Oh, I just tore it. Let's just see if we like the look of it. Yeah, I think I do. And it doesn't matter because that where it tore will be buried. Make sure I have it the right way. Yep. There we have another one. All right, this is a piece of coffee dyed paper cut in a circle shape and it's got another one that I folded in half and sewed on it as a pocket. So I need a little tag to tuck in there and maybe something to decorate the front. Let's see, I have these pieces of file folder that I had Mod Podge napkin onto tags out of those too. Sorry I got distracted. I don't think I have anything tiny enough. That says the little old man. I'll 
she's cute. Yeah, I'm gonna have to... Oh. I brought, I brought this ephemera folder over too. Things that I had just been cutting out the other night. I could tuck that little bottle in there and find something to put on the flap. Maybe. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe this. It's kind of cute. a little tiny tag too. Not quite little enough though. Probably when I go to use this in something, I will be able to make a tiny little tag to stick in there with the bottle. But that's the beginning of it. Let's make one more because the, the um, battery's going to go anytime probably. This isn't printable. Playing card. So that would make a really quick and easy piece of ephemera. We'll just glue it to a piece of cardstock. to work in the evening here because I have a lamp on the floor and it's to my right so my hand casts a shadow on whatever I'm doing. Um, I'll probably want to add something to this. Um, okay, so this is a die cut. squares need to be poked out. But that would be cute, I think. Looks like a film strip. Yeah, and then I could add a little flower on it. So, don't know if I want to do this on camera, because it'll take me a little while to poke all of those pieces out, but I do have little fussy cut flowers. I think. Where are they? Nope. They're in 
and this binder. So that, that's what that'll look like after I punch the, the little holes out. Then it'll be journaling on the back. So that was really quick. Trim a little bit off of there so that it matches that border. I might as well cut it so that that notch is gone. Sometimes I like to leave the notches and bumps on the file folders just for interest. But there wasn't enough of it left there. Been having fun with numbers today so let's add some numbers to this maybe they're a little too big 